Hey guys, it's your boy Corey Pierce and welcome back to my Liverpool career mode season four. Hey, how? Four seasons already? Seems like only yesterday I started. It. Fucking hell, it's almost May anyway. You know, what the hell is going on? The fucking year is flying. You already know who you'll be hearing Christmas songs. <laughs> before you know it. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well on this Monday evening. It's been kind of a bad day for me. I kind of fell on my ass. <laughs> I'll get into that a little more in a bit, but I want to talk about this video. So, in this video, I'll be doing uh, two of my princess matches and uh, just getting started in the season and starting off in the uh, starting off in the um, league as well so um, I want to talk about a few things that have have happened in the past few days and hours, uh, now um, you guys may uh, you may uh, remember when I was talking about my uh, second career mode, and when I'm gonna stop doing that. The second career mode is going to end when it comes to FIFA 30. I am going to stop doing the FIFA 13 career mode, second career mode. Uh, what, what's going to happen is I'm going to... Right now I'm doing a, my second career mode is uh, Benfica, which is on uh, every Thursday. And sometimes it is on uh, the weekend if, I'm, if I uh, find time to do it. But uh, recently I've not been finding any time. Although, this weekend is a long weekend, I have Friday off, so I'll have longer to do my videos. I may already be down on, in y'all, on Thursday, so Thursday's video may be as good as my weekend videos are usually. My weekend videos are always better than my uh, weekday videos, if, uh, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you will know that it's true, that is Brilliant goal from Connor Cody. Did he go on loan to Warner Brennan for a season? Oh, I thought I took a deflection. That that makes it even better goal. <laughs> I was like, that took a deflection, but that's still a good goal. But second look, it didn't take a deflection. There you go. Good goal from Connor Cody. Um, Season 4 is going to be like a clean out. For the summer, I'm uh, getting rid of some of the players I don't use, and uh, I would feel uh, best if they weren't around. Uh, apparently, I might be getting a an offer for Steven El Shirari from Juventus soon, and um, I was thinking about this uh, a bit, and I was wondering. I thought to myself, I said to my friends, "Should I? Should I not?" And they all pretty much all said the same thing. Uh, I, I should uh, at least consider it if it's a good offer or and maybe bring in someone late another player later or uh, and some say not to uh, because he is you know he doesn't play as much as a starter would as a, I would love to play more, but uh, sometimes I don't play the cup games and that is where I do play the uh, he is playing today so you know, he is playing in this match. He's, uh, he's over on the other side. This is Raheem Sterling. Um, yeah, he's, so he's playing today. Uh, you know, this might be his last match, depending on how good the, of an offer. But, you know, we are playing Roma there in a few days. Wait, wait was it Roma? Yeah, it was Roma. It was Roma. So, I'll definitely be uh, have to play in Eric Lamella for that match. Against his former club, actually, his current club, in real life, and, uh, 
course, they still have him in FIFA 13. Like I said, he's been duplicated like most of my players on the team. For whatever reason, they keep duplicating my players. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it. Um. But, uh, so yeah, the second career mode is what is currently with Benfica. And I, you know, I'm going to do two more career modes after Benfica. The next one will be Juventus. I'm more than halfway done with a Benfica by now. I should be done probably mid-May if I if if I work hard enough, maybe early May. Who knows? We'll see. I'll try and get it done as soon as possible. I mean, you know, there's no rush. I mean, I know that full well that there is absolutely no rush, and with that, so you know, it's, it's not like I'm under pressure. Or, uh, I upload it every Thursday, as I do it, uh, as I upload every other playlist on their own days. Um, the only time I do a double upload in the week is my loop program mode. But that is because this one is quite long. And uh, this will go on in, for longer than the uh, second career mode. My uh, first career mode, a lot my friends have been asking me about it, whether, how long it will go on for. And uh, that's a nice thank you very much, Mr. Referee, for my penalty. Yeah, that was quite nice of him. And um, so yeah, I, I was telling my friends, you know, right out and decided on a uh, length of this grimoire. I'm going to just basically, I, I want to play it up until, um, up until the release of FIFA 14. And FIFA 14 is coming out, uh, well, the release date hasn't been announced yet. I don't think they're even done developing it yet we have we're starting to get sneak peeks and uh, a little previews at it already uh career mode for next year's for FIFA 14 looks sick can't wait for that always look for career mode improvements because i do do a lot of career mode videos as you guys know very well and um So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then the second career mode will return in FIFA 13, in FIFA 14. After I do the two, once I complete Benfica, I'll be moving on to Juventus. And then after Juventus, I'll do one more career mode. And then, uh, it'll be back in FIFA 14. That series will be back in, the second career mode series will be back in FIFA 14. Um, as far as teams to do after Juventus, I don't know. I haven't thought of any teams. And seriously, I got a second penalty. What the hell? Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, I can take this one because I was sure I took the first one. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, no, he scored it. Vote the same way. Mad. Two penalties. What the hell? Okay. First time ever I've ever gotten two penalties in the same match. I very rarely get two penalties in a season. <laughs> but in one match. I want this referee to referee all my matches. <laughs> he knows what. The deal is. So, um, so yeah, the career modes will uh, continue far on until uh, FIFA 14 and beyond. I will never run out of ideas, trust me, I won't. Plenty of ideas in my head. As long as there's games being released. I will get them and do playthroughs, playthrough on them, if I deem them a game I would play. Of course, there's games out there I still have to try. I mean, 
I want to give the God of War games a whirl, and I want to give the Metal Gear Solid games a whirl. I definitely want to give those games a whirl, and uh, none in particular, just maybe all of them, if I could. I, of course, I know all of them is quite impossible. Wait, it is? Wait, it is possible. I can just download it on the uh, PS from the PSN store. So yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe in the future. There, there are a lot of playthroughs coming in the uh, later months of this year. Um, in August, I will be doing a Saints Row 4 playthrough. And you remember, I finished my Saints Row 3 playthrough. It was... Uh, it was announced quite a while ago that there would be a Saints Row 4 and I'm definitely quite, well, I'm kind of looking forward to it it's, if, hopefully it'll make a bit more sense than the uh, third one second one was kind of good, the third one was in a, in a way it was brilliant um, <coughs> second one was Second one actually makes sense. The second, the third one, made even though it was good, it made no sense whatsoever. Hopefully, the fourth one will be both. It will be good and make sense. How they're gonna outdo uh, FIFA? I mean, how they're out gonna how they're out gonna outdo Saints Row the Third? Is beyond me. Um. So yeah, in, that comes out in August, so I'll be definitely looking to do a play through on that. A so I'm, I can't think of the others off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, there's Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, uh, the newest installment of the back Assassin's Creed franchise. Is that comes out? It's either late October or early November. Right now, it's set for the first of November. Um, November's around the time of WWE 14, which should be good. Uh, of course, we have 14 in October, or September. Like I said, there's no official release date for FIFA yet. Um, there's Batman Arkham Origins, which is the newest installment of Batman Arkham. Oh, um, uh, Batman. Yeah, Arkham games. And in September, we do have Grand Theft Auto 5, and those will all be games I will definitely do. Of course, I have to finish uh, Resident Evil 5. I'm gonna. Do my best to get through uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. I will not stop trying. <laughs> uh, that's one thing you're gonna learn about me. I never give up on a playthrough. I never give up on a playthrough. There is a way to beat. Grape Virginia, I will find it. And the hero mode, I'm sure there's a way to beat that as well. Isn't Evil 5 I'm actually nearing the end of that? So there might be a blank slate in the. Uh... In the. Uh, thing. I don't really have any other games. I don't want to redo any games I've already done. Uh, I'm looking at my games and thinking what could I play that you guys might enjoy. Maybe I'll give you more WW13. Uh, um, I have Assassin's Creed 1. That was quite stupid. I have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelations is there as well somewhere. It's probably under my bed. I have 
Euro 2008, World Snooker Championship real 09, FIFA's 10, 11, 12, and 13. <laughs> I have plenty of games, so I'm sure I'll find something to do. If you heard something that you would like to see, give, give me a shout. I do have Assassin's Creed 3 as well there somewhere. I could start again on that if you like. I'd actually never finished it. I only got to a point, but then I completely forgot about it. Got caught up in uh, doing it, recording for you guys. So maybe I'll do three before I jump into four. Actually, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game in forever. It's fucking April. And I haven't played Assassin's Creed 3 since about November. That's probably the last time I played it. I gotta get back into that. So maybe I'll do a Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough on for you. I don't really want to do Brotherhood or Revelations or Assassin's Creed 1 because those were kind of all crap, even though I did beat them. All those games I have played before, except Assassin's Creed, well I did play Assassin's Creed 3, I just didn't finish it. And uh, for anyone suggests, so why don't you just continue from where you left off? I don't know where I left off, and to be honest, you'd be completely lost, you'd be like, did he stop this place? Who already? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna start from the very beginning with a with a brand new thing. So yeah, that's what I'll I'll do that for when I'm finished. Assassin uh, Resident Evil Five. My friend suggested I do the next Resident Evil or Resident Evil Six, but uh. But another friend of mine told me it's absolutely shit. It's probably the worst Resident Evil game he said it's ever that's ever been made. I've actually never seen anyone play it. I do know my friend has it. It's probably how he knows it's shit. It's weird. Yeah, well that's an interesting name right there. Did you see that? Chelsea and Bayern Munich in Hazard's top. So Chelsea are interested inside in Aiden Hazard. Wait, what? Oh, we have two precision matches. Why? Okay. Um. Apparently, I only have two preseason matches. I'm perfectly fine with that. Actually, that suits me better. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh oh. The um, final means I gotta play, especially against Tottenham. You'll all remember the FA Cup final. We're not gonna have that again.
So, um, let's do this. Yeah, it's Liverpool versus Roma. This is a home friendly, so it's at Anfield. I wonder when that. <laughs> Would you believe it? Look who got the goal. Eric Lamella. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Connor Cody suffered an injury, but luckily, he's not a star Pokemon, so that's not. Oh my goodness, a five months. Oh, that's gonna hamper his career. Oh, poor Cody. Poor, poor Connor. Poor Connor. Ain't that always the way, ladies and gentlemen? You just like you're doing some good for your team. Yeah, you're building up some uh, some momentum, playing well for your team, and boom! All of a sudden, injured. That's. Just how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Just how it goes. Dundalk is looking for more money. You money whore. Where are you? <laughs> money whore, come here. I will do that right now. Oops, wrong way. One year contract at a hundred. Anyone at a year? Oh. Just Shabby Alonso. Uh, um, uh, uh, I'm not renewing it. I'm not ruin I'm not renewing his gun threat. You can either go to a different club or leave on a free transfer, but um, it'd probably be better off if I did, if he did leave on a free transfer, because uh, I hate, I just hate to sell Shabby Alonso, because unless I get an offer from a team, I don't think I'd sell him. Uh, looks like Mendez is going to Ipswich. They uh, put in an 850000 bid for him. Uh, looks like ha Hazard has gone to Bayern. It's going to make Chelsea a little easier to beat. It's going to make my season a whole lot easier. It's going to be. It's going to make the Champions League hell if I run into Bayern again. Oh god. I may have to play Byron again. Please save that till the final. Crap, I didn't even look at that. 
Oh, what was that? I didn't see it. I'm sorry, Gundog. Ah, oh, shit. I hate when that happens. <sighs> anyway, community shield time. Liverpool versus Tottenham. So um, I'm gonna let the commentators talk to you during the match until after it. I will talk to you after the match. Until then, enjoy it. Thank you. 
Casillas is still a the young man part, but he seems to have been around forever and he's producing top class back again today.
Well, that was a very interesting community show. Tottenham, I'm sure, did not go down without a fight. As such, uh, Mendez is going to ooh, Ipswich. And another player is gone. And like I said, this is going to be the summer clear out. I'm just clearing out players I don't need, I don't want, I don't use. Those players. Along the blind, and uh, players whose potentials I completely get wrong. Uh, I would have thought a lot more potential was uh, on the team when it comes to uh, players that I had, but uh, I was completely wrong in that aspect. With uh, some of them, hmm. Hmm. I, I, I'm a you know I'm one. I'm a person who will admit when I'm wrong, and I was definitely wrong about most of the players who I do in fact have on the squad. And I, I just uh, you know, I was wrong about these guys. They're not as good as I thought they would potentially become. Um. And granted, I and I'm not using them as much as I want to, but you know that's not my fault. If I could use them more, I would definitely use them more. But you know, with with the lineup I have, it's it's hard. You know, continue. The fact that I'm leaving him out is a crime. But Gundog and Erickson and Silva. Oh, absolutely brilliant. And still, and still was still only 29 years old. Well, that's weird. I thought he was old. I thought he was 29 now, but okay. Apparently, still was not aging. <laughs> uh, that, oh, he's, he was yo he's younger than I thought. No, I have to check his name. Is a age. This is two years from now. Surely he's more than twenty. Or maybe Coutinho will get his... Starting place after all. Gundog is gonna leave? That's... Ah, oh, God. What was the point of asking me to the Razor? Now Chelsea want Steven Oster. To be honest, gee, Juventus have a good chance. Chelsea have no chance in hell. I will not settle to a Premier League rival. I know that is a damn stupid idea. If you sell to a Premier League rival, you're only going to make them stronger. Why would you do that? If you're going to lose a player, for the love of God, don't let him go to a Premier League. A rival who's in your league. That's a terrible idea. That's going to make them stronger and cripple your team at the same time. That's why you buy America are fucking geniuses. They're buying, they're trying to buy everyone Dortmund have. Dortmund will probably, if Dortmund don't do something, Dortmund will not only lose all their players to Bayern, which will make Bayern unstoppable, they'll also probably end up in the bottom half of the fucking Bundesliga, they can even relegate if they don't stop losing players. Because they're right, they are. They lost Gotti, 
There's rumors they're going to lose Royce and Lewandowski and Blatowski. They're losing everybody. They all seem to be going to Bayern Munich for whatever reason. I don't know where Bayern Munich are suddenly becoming the team with the deep pockets. But apparently so. They already officially bought Royce. You see, move to him when the window opens. As far as the other rumors go, I'm not sure of. But I'm not going to let that happen. Look at Arsenal. They lost Van Persie to Man United. It, and if Man United didn't have Van Persie this season, they wouldn't have won the title. I did see, could have looked play a lot better this season but most of United's points are thanks to Robin Van Persie and you can dispute, dispute that if you want it's the truth hell no I'm not gonna sell him to you I guess uh, since Gundogan is leaving, apparently, um, so I have no choice. Uh, hmm. How do I do this? Should I buy a new player or just stick with Continue? Uh <sighs> When it comes to midfielders, there's not a lot around, but wait. since I'm going to probably sell Ajahn as well, hmm. maybe I should bring in Royce, I mean not Royce, Gotti, <laughs> getting mixed up now. See, that's why I'm trying to avoid players in the Premier League. Because I know well, if I go to a Premier League team, they'll be a good show. Put my money up my ass. They probably won't actually say that, but it'd be basically it would, that's what they'd be thinking. In, in, Definitely looking at those two players I bookmark. Got C and Gotzi and Muller. More I'm looking at Gotzi because he's younger. will stay on Gatsy long enough to for me to look at him. He's already 87 rated. 
he just seems like the kind of person I would be interested in. I'm actually going to make an inquiry. Um, I'm going to leak the permanent, starting the permanent league officially till the next video. First match is Manchester City. First three Premier League matches, Man City, Wigan, and Man United. Those are my first three Premier League matches, if you can believe that. And my first Champions League match, um, no a major, it's only Tottenham, again. Oh wait, that's not the Champions League, that's the uh, UEFA Super Cup. That's the, uh, that's because they won the Europa League. <laughs> My heart was in my mouth. I thought I was actually going to have to play a Tottenham in the Champions League. Will I sell Gundog and will I get Gotzi? That's going to be a big addition to the team. If I get Gotzi, then fucking Adrian's definitely gone. I might have to throw in Adrian just to make him... I'm agree to that deal. We'll see where I go with that. You have to wait till Friday. I'm sorry this video was a bit shorter than other promo videos, but I'll make it up to you on Friday. Until next time, this has been your boy, Curb Beers 100. Please like, subscribe, and peace.